Hello and welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Mulan has been delayed again. Um, now, this is obviously indicative of kind of like the wider uh, things at play here in respect to the movie industry bound to happen. Um, now, this uh, title here says that they've also uh, delayed Tenet. As far as I was concerned, Tenet was delayed like another two weeks or something like that uh, until the end of July. Um, so what we're looking at, you know, realistically just here is the fact that Mulan's been delayed and how uh, there's just like a lot riding on it for Disney because Disney's lost an awful lot of money daily from their parks. Uh, somewhere, I believe, don't quote me, but it's somewhere in the region of $300,000 a day. So they are going way down, way, 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 way down. Um, they're, they're soon to be, I think they're even running now in a deficit, if I remember rightly. They did their quarterly earnings call, which said they were down a certain amount, and then we knew that they filed for, they, they were creating debt as a result as well, to try to get more money. Um, it, it's fascinating how this pandemic has utterly crippled some of the world's largest, uh, you know, companies. Um, and it also goes to show the power of having a cash flow, I guess, having a cash in reserve, um, which is why, you know, Disney had to generate debt to have flow and such and such forth. But anyway, basically, this is an article over on china.org.cn. Uh, there was also an article, and we will go back to it in a second, which was on The Hollywood Reporter. Um, but The Hollywood Reporter's article wasn't actually as in-depth as this one. So I thought we'd reference this first, then go look at The Hollywood Reporter. So we're going to dive into this today. Before I do, guys, we've only got a few more weeks left. It's about three weeks left of crowdfunding for my film, Blackfields. We're going for broke. We are now at £22,500, I believe. So we're looking for twenty-five grand. Donate, donate, donate. It's down below in the description box. I still think there's been under a 1,000 people that have donated. Um, so look, hey... If you want to be a part of something original, check it out. It's down below. It would mean the world to me. It's my film. All the details are down there. So let's dive into this, shall we? Right. Disney's upcoming fantasy war drama Mulan, based on the legendary Chinese heroine, has been postponed uh, until August 21st. Interesting. Now, the Walt Disney Studios announced that on Friday. Uh, and the live-action film set in China was first scheduled to hit U.S. theatres on March 27th, but was later rescheduled to July 24th due to the pandemic. Now, this is the statement that they released. Um, While the pandemic has changed our release plans for Mulan and we will continue to be flexible, so they're basically saying, hey, we're probably going to delay it again, or hey, this is not set in stone, we may delay it again. Uh, obviously, as conditions require, it has not changed our belief in the power of this film, and its message of hope and perseverance. What? <laughs> what are you on about? I mean, you believe in the film anyway, and you believe it's going to make money. Like, what is this nonsense about this uh, belief in the power of this film? What power of the film? What? What? What's? What's the film going to do, guys? What do you want about the virtue signalling at just every turn? Uh, Alan Horn, co-chairman and chief creative officer, and Alan Bergman, co-chairman of the Walt Disney Studios said in a statement. Director Nikki Caro and our cast and crew have created a beautiful epic and moving film that is everything the cinematic experience should be and that's where we believe it belongs, on the world stage and the big screen for audiences around the globe to enjoy together. Statement read. Now that's interesting because there were so many rumours from so many people saying, oh, they're going to go to streaming. They're just going to chuck it on streaming. They were never going to put this on streaming. Anyone that thought that, you pleb. These movies cost far too much money, and they are quite literally marketing it. China! Insert Trump meme here. Um, they're, they're, they're firmly targeting this all on the Chinese market. This was never going to go to streaming. What are you on about? Um, now, I do think... That they have, you know, went in there and silenced the lead, uh, which was Lu, Lu, La, Louis Yifi, um, who came out uh, opposing the Hong Kong uh, protests, uh, which is diabolical anyway. Um, you know, and it, it fascinates me how the Hong Kong protests and uh, all, all of that that's been happening there in the world actually hasn't been centre stage on a lot more 
mainstream media platforms because it is you know it's abhorrent behavior it's an abuse of human rights and just basic civil rights as well um but i obviously she came out and said that and that riled quite a few people up anyone who is sane that irritated them um but she has she since hasn't come out and said much since then so it is interesting isn't it now it continues and says that mulan which cost us uh, 200 million dollars believes is actually a little bit more than that the lead uh, dropped a hint that it was a little bit more than that. Um, stars Louis Yifei uh, in the title role following a year-long global casting with Gong Li as a powerful and dangerous witch, Donnie Yen as an army commander, and Jet Li as the Emperor of China. China. Uh, the film is an adaptation of Disney's 1998 animated classic of the same name. Not technically. I mean, it's Chinese legend, isn't it? It's like a fairy tale, like a folk tale, yeah? I don't know the, the overall... Uh, history of Mulan, but it's not its not really an adaptation of Disney's story. It's more of an adaptation of the actual story, is it not? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? Uh, according to the folk legend, Hue Mulan, Hua Mulan, I guess, I don't know how to pronounce that, uh, lived during a tumultuous era in Chinese history more than 1400 years ago. She disguised herself as a man to serve in the army in place of her aged father and fight for her country. Um, I quite like the story of Mulan. I'll be intrigued to see it. But make no mistake, this film is... Chinese market. Uh, and there's nothing inherently wrong with that. Um, again, there is nothing inherently wrong with that. It's just a shame that we are, you know, now looking for all movies to pander to that market. Because I don't think it's something that we should be pandering to. Again, blatant human rights abuses go on all the time. I mean, you know, we've been banging on about slavery so much recently... Uh, in the media due to BLM, but the hypocrisy of those people wearing shirts that were made in Chinese sweatshops is, is, I mean, that's not lost on me. Hopefully it's not lost on any of you guys. I mean, that's quite literally slavery going on in modern day. Um, anyway, side note, I guess. Uh, obviously, the announcement came just one day after Warner Brothers decided to delay the theatrical release of Christopher Nolan's Tenet for the second time. Uh, the film, which cost, also cost US dollars 200 million to make, was pushed back uh, from July 31st to August 12th. Okay, so it was delayed again. I wasn't aware of that. Uh, it's not something which was kind of shouting out from the rooftops. That's fascinating. Um, it makes sense because Warner Brothers were shuffling a lot of things recently as well. Godzilla vs. Kong is now releasing next year. Uh, Warner Brothers is committed to bringing Tenet to audiences in theatres on the big screen when exhibitors are ready and public health officials say it's time. I also have another video releasing today, ladies and gents, on the UK guidelines uh, on attending theatres, which will hopefully really please a lot of people. I read it. I was very concerned. I'm actually really happy now. Very, very happy. Uh, and I will be there the moment theatres reopen and there's actually something good to watch and also review for you guys. Because uh, uh, amazingly so, which you've probably forgotten over the last three months, this is a movie review channel, among other things. Uh, but I've not been not been able to review much, have I? Now obviously their statement continued and said, In this moment, what we need to be is flexible and we are not treating this as a traditional movie release. We are choosing to open the movie midweek to allow audiences to discover the film in their own time. There's, there's also a strategic play there, guys. They're opening it midweek, so their opening weekend is longer. Just as an FYI, that is actually what they're doing. <laughs> um, we plan to play longer over an extended play period for be uh, far beyond the norm to develop a very different yet successful release strategy. Yeah, the opening weekend results will be reasonable. Um, that's why they're doing that, by the way. Now, it is interesting because they actually state that you know, this it says Nolan, who has called the espionage action epic tenet the biggest film of his career. That that's something to watch. Seriously, in theaters, you know, he's made some absolutely epic movies. Um, some worse than others, of course, but for that to be his the biggest of all time, yeah, uh, that that will prick up a lot of ears, I'm sure. Now, obviously, it, you know, there's some other bits and pieces that says because the Chinese story, Mulan is expected to strongly resonate in China. It's targeted for Chinese markets. Absolutely. Uh, meanwhile, Tenet director Nolan also has a big fan base in China. So they're looking to... And, and that's the other thing as well, guys. You've got to remember, China had opened their theatres and then they shut them back down. China had opened back up, then they shut back down. I also do firmly believe that a lot of these things here are catering so that they can release it universally uh, across the world, China, Western markets, and get a good, strong worldwide opening 
Um, that that's logic would dictate it. Now again, just so we can just you know for continuity's sake, we'll dip through into the Hollywood Reporter's article. Doesn't say too much. Just says you know Nikki Caro's live action adaptation of the classic animated pick had been set to hit theaters on July twenty fourth, uh, but it's now been moved. Um, and now they cite the COVID cases in California for reasons I don't think that's the case. It says, but with the cases of COVID-19 surging again in California and a handful of other states, Disney's plans have changed. The company is also delaying next month's planned reopening of Disneyland in Anaheim. And that's it. Not too much else. They are losing a lot of money uh, on this film. Again, like, when they'd initially reported this, they said if it had gone on for, mu like, gone on for much longer past March, I believe it was, that it was going to be like $30 billion. So we're looking at billions and billions and billions uh, of dollars lost now uh, in the movie industry. So it is interesting, but there you go. We've had some reshufflings and things like that. Love to hear your thoughts. Let me know down below. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. Stay up to date on the world of pop culture movie news by hitting the bell notification icon. Thanks so much. Take care.